Hi everybody, back on the channel here again. I'm able to make videos again, for now. <laughs> uh, just wanted to make a real quick announcement. If you haven't seen the secondary channel, if you're not aware of it, it's KJ Video Ministries. I'll put a link to it down in the description box. Uh, I will be uploading my videos for the next number of months till April sometime um, over on that channel. Um, but I'm also on my website, kingjamesvideoministries.com. I'm uploading videos, my new controversial type of stuff, on through Rumble, putting them on my website. Um, so if you go over there and check that out, that would be great. And I'm um, praying about a number of different ideas right now, um, which I'll probably make the announcements on the secondary channel uh, here on YouTube and, of course, on my website, uh, just to kind of give you a heads up. Um, Praying about the possibility of having my own um, in the future video server type of a thing so I can't be censored anymore. It's really getting old. And then the other thing, the bigger one of the two, um, I actually started in ministry way back in probably about 2007 uh, writing tracks and booklets. So before I was, there was a King James Video Ministries, there was just, I was just trying to write tracks. So I would like to get back into that again. Um, real quickly, the problem, just to kind of explain the problem with it, what I did back when I was doing it on my own, I literally went to different Baptist churches. One even had their own press that they could print gospel tracks. And my tracks were too uh, controversial, we might say. Um, just the style of my preaching. I believe in being honest, and brutally honest usually is the method that I choose. Not because I hate anybody, just because I want people to know what I'm saying. And I want to call sin, sin, and not compromise. Um, and that's not very popular with a lot of professing Christians. So, the issue is, if I could find somebody that could publish my tracks as they are without censoring my speech, well, great, praise the Lord. Um, but they're going to get some backlash from people that the tracks are given to or whatever else. And... Um, so there, there's that as an issue. Uh, looking into different tract publishers and whatever else, I'm just worried that, that uh, you know, they're not going to want to stick with me for very long because of um, how I would write. Um, so, that being said, to self-publish, literally where I have my own printer, where I'm folding it, whatever else, well, the quality's not going to be that great. And, um, you know, I end up, I ended up in the past um, doing a whole lot of labor for almost no money and it got to a point where it was just not economically feasible to continue. I mean, it was taking me a couple of days to print out a book on my own and then I could only charge $20 for it. Well, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize that uh, a couple days labor for $20 doesn't really work, um, especially when you live in, econ in an economy like we have here in America. Maybe in some third world country that might work. but. Uh, and I couldn't charge $20 down there either. So, uh, just something we're praying about. If any of you out there know a way to print tracks or if you have any ideas um, for a publisher that would not censor me, um, that would be great. I'd really like to be able to get to the thing of uh, printing tracks because there aren't many good tracks out there that I can recommend. A lot of them have graven images of the Lord, which is forbidden in Scripture. Um, and, you know, they'll, they'll get around it by saying, well, technically, yes, it's a graven image, but we don't fall down and worship, so, so technically it's not, you know, condemned. And No, it's condemned in Scripture, okay? You're not supposed to make any drawings of, of what Jesus looked like or whatever else. Jesus didn't sit around posing for paintings when he was here. All right, so there's that issue, the graven image issue. There's the um, go to church, find a good local church thing and, and whatever else. Um, that might have been true years ago where there would have been more, you know, church buildings out there that would have preached the gospel. But that, you know, even if you're for church buildings, it is long since expired the thing of finding a good church. Okay, they're just filled with problems. They're filled with perverts. There's all kinds of problems. You know, even back when I wrote to uh, Peter Ruckman when he was still alive, you know, they even had to... The one guy from his church called and admitted that they're having all kinds, of, they have to do police background checks on people down there because they were having all kinds of problems of perverts coming there. 
men with uh, criminal backgrounds of molesting children and things like that. So the church buildings, even the very best of the quote-unquote Bible-believing ones, are just filled with all kinds of problems. So I'm not going to give out tracts, and I, don't, I will never recommend tracts that tell people to find a good local church in their area. Uh, that's a bad idea. So uh, it's something I've, I've been thinking about for a long time, wanting to get back into the thing of gospel tracts and small booklets. The question is, can I print them in an economical way by myself? Um, I don't know. That's a question. Um, so if you could, anybody could give me advice on that, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, please pray for us as we consider having our own video server. Um, it's a good idea in my opinion, but the only problem is, of course, it's going to be rather expensive. Um, so, and I don't know how that'll go either. Um, but uh, I'm glad to see a lot of people have come over to the secondary channel, to the new studies. We put up a really important one about a papal interdict. Um, my wife and I did that one. And it's a very important one that you need to see if you haven't seen it already uh, to understand what's going on with our current situation in the world. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to see a lot of you came over to the secondary channel. And I'm going to be... Um, this will be the last video I'll, that I'll be doing here on the main channel for a while. If the channel survives um, for another, another couple of months, well, then I'll probably come back and do some more videos. But for now, um, I will say goodbye on this channel. And um, if, it's, if they delete the channel, well, okay. A lot of work in my part that's uh, going downhill, so to speak. Or disappearing, I should say. Um, if the channel stays up, my next strike um, expires in this month, the 16th, I think. And then April is would be the next one then my channel will be back up with no strikes on it. So it'll, it will be at least till then, um, unless there's some other reason I'd have to make a video. But for now, um, I'm going to be t uh, taking all my time on the secondary channel to build that up and rumble on my website. Uh, a lot of people, by the way, real quickly, have asked, let me switch hands again here. Arm gets sore after a while. Um, a lot of people have asked the question, what happened to the BitChute account? Well. I was uploading videos there and hoping that it would be censorship free and I uploaded a video that's actually on my website right now kingjamesvideoministries.com about Janet Mills the governor here in Maine and um, why she shouldn't be a politician and um, I won't say anything more because getting banned and whatnot but um, you can watch it there if you want to but I put it on BitChute with the title and it wouldn't process and then I put it up again with a different title you know a less offensive title or whatever and it wouldn't process and I waited and waited and waited and then they deleted the videos and I thought okay so I deleted the BitChute account and I heard some people saying about rumble I went with rumble as far as that people say what's the uh, channel name well on rumble what I do is I pick the lowest tier of video where there's no monetization i retain all the rights but it's my videos are not searchable and so um because i picked the very very least one so i don't know if i can actually share the channel with anybody or not um i've tried to get look it up just as king james video ministries on rumble and i can't find it so i guess because i i choose that that the videos won't be searchable i guess is why it does that but um, if you would go to my website, kingjamesvideoministries.com, click on one of the Rumble videos and go to actually Rumble and, you know, watch it there, you might be able to find the other videos that way, is what I would recommend. Um, so, and it's nice because with Rumble, there's no links to other videos that can be vexing and things like on YouTube. And um, so, I think that's it for now. And like I said, this, this channel is going to be sit kind of uh, vacant for a while because of the different community guideline strikes that I've gotten and um, I guess that's going to be it so uh, just keep us in your prayers I would appreciate that very much uh, that the Lord's will would be done with the future of this ministry I don't intend to quit I'm going to come out with other ways and other means of getting the truth out um, as more censorship comes down and uh, 
we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your prayers. And thank you to everybody out there who supports the ministry as well. We really do appreciate that.